You might have heard about racial segregation, which was normal in the U.S. just a few decades ago. At that time, black people were forced to stay away and live separately in ghettos and segregated communities. What if we tell you that a modern form of segregation and racism exists in countries that often call them the most developed? There, if black and white people are walking in a group, people will raise questions. That's because they have been taught to stay away from black people due to Afrophobia. Not only the natives are racist, but police and authorities will stop and search black people only, allowing white people to go. Restaurants to this day are closed for black people, and the natives there hate to see black people around them. Yes, how people interact there with others depends on the color of people. What are those countries, and what else is done there subtly, which makes them racist countries? Believe us, countries from every continent are on the list. Perhaps you might be planning to go there and settle. Before you do, watch this video because it will let you have a deeper look at these countries, putting their shiny reputation and historical sites aside. Let's get started. Number 10. Brazil Brazil has preserved racism even after centuries. Earlier, breeding farms and plantation slavery were normal in Brazil. Then, after the slave trade and slavery were banned, Brazil changed, but racism stayed in the building blocks of the society. Beyond the lively samba beats and beaches lies a harsh truth. Brazil is one of the top 10 countries grappling with a troubling racism problem that can make visiting a deeply unsettling experience. This might come as a surprise, especially given Brazil's reputation as a melting pot of different races. However, beneath the surface, a deep-seated racial divide persists. This divide has its roots in a long history that began after the abolition of slavery in 1888. Instead of actively working to integrate black people into society, Brazilian authorities crafted a carefully constructed narrative of racial harmony. They aim to portray Brazil as a unique haven where all races coexist peacefully. However, this narrative masks a painful reality that many Brazilians, particularly black and mixed race individuals, continue to endure in the 21st century. Statistics reveal a gloomy truth about racial inequality in Brazil. Black and brown Brazilians bear the brunt of police violence and lack of access to education. They have limited representation in decision-making circles. Shockingly, they make up a staggering 64% of the unemployed population and are almost three times more likely to fall victim to homicides. This staggering inequality is reflected in their income as well, as on average, they earn only half of what their white counterparts do. Shockingly, despite a large number of Brazilians identifying as black, their representation in positions of power is disproportionately low. Black people constitute just 18% of Congress and a mere 4.7% of executives in major companies. Number nine, Italy. People love to go to Europe and see historical sites and the marks left by Greeks and Romans. In this matter, Italy appears to be a good option to visit. It offers its historical sites, delicious cuisine and charming streets. However, there's another side to Italy that demands acknowledgement, racism. Racism is a problem that has been repeatedly brought to the forefront, causing concerns among both locals and visitors. Instances of racism have become more visible in recent years, leading to widespread public outcry and condemnation. Individuals like Paula Igonu, a volleyball player of Nigerian descent, acknowledge that Italy has been grappling with racism, but believe that progress is slowly being made. On the other hand, people like Lillian Thurum, a former professional footballer from France, express a more pessimistic view, suggesting that racism has intensified, particularly under the influence of the current right-wing coalition government. Incidents have erupted which shows that racism has been there in Italy and still exists staying dormant and appearing at the right moment. The football player Romelu Lukaku was subjected to racist chants from Juventus fans, resulting in the city of Turin issuing 171 restraining orders. Instead of neutralizing racism, Italy has engaged itself in making data on race unavailable. The government does not actively collect statistics on race and ethnicity, making it harder to gauge the extent of the issue. This absence of data sets Italy apart from other European countries where such information is readily available. A UNICEF poll in 2021 revealed disheartening findings. Around 60% of young people in Italy admitted to having unconscious racist biases. This suggests that even though individuals may not consciously hold discriminatory views, these biases still shape their behavior. Number eight, Spain. Spain is one of the most famous countries in Europe, which appears to present a modern form of state today. You might like to visit Spain because of its rich culture, stunning beaches, and bustling cities. However, 
Beneath this captivating facade lies a troubling reality that may give you pause when planning your travel. Spain, a nation that has been home to diverse communities for decades, including black Spaniards and people of color, is grappling with a deeply rooted issue, racism. This problem isn't isolated. It permeates society and has led many to categorize Spain as one of the top 10 racist countries to consider avoiding. For years, individuals of African descent holding Spanish citizenship and people of color living in Spain have shared their distressing experiences of racial discrimination. Abraham Jimenez and Noah, a Cuban writer who made Spain his new home in 2021, has been documenting their personal encounters with racism. Shockingly, he recorded a staggering 182 incidents so far. These incidents range from unjust surveillance in stores to unwarranted ID checks on public transport. Noah's accounts paint a distressing picture of a society that appears to be turning a blind eye to its own prejudices. Even the world of sports, often seen as a unifying force, has not been immune to this ugly reality. In a game between Real Madrid and Valencia in May 2023, Vinicius Jr., a talented young player, faced horrifying racial slurs from opposition supporters. Cries of monkey echoed through the stadium a deeply offensive taunt that exposes the pervasive racism within Spanish society. This incident is not isolated for Vinicius. He has spoken out about the continuous episodes of racial abuse he has endured during his time in Spain. As a traveler, Spain may not seem like the ideal destination it's often portrayed to be. The country's dark underbelly of racism serves as a stark reminder that prejudice can lurk beneath even the most charming facades. Here's a reminder to please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on black culture, history, civilization, and identity. Let's continue now. Number seven, Morocco. Morocco has been the hub of the transatlantic slave trade, a place where African slaves were exported to the Americas and Europe. Unfortunately, anti-black racism still exists today, even though it's often denied or ignored by non-black Moroccans. In daily life, Racist terms and derogatory labels are used to refer to black Moroccans, diminishing their worth and humanity. This language, rooted in historical prejudices, reflects a lack of understanding and empathy. The dehumanization of black people in Morocco isn't uncommon. Black individuals are sometimes compared to animals like monkeys and pigs, reducing them to degrading stereotypes. This treatment is especially targeted at migrants from sub-Saharan Africa, making them feel like outsiders. They can be called curd or monkey, kanzir or pig, cannibals and haiwan or animal. Surprisingly, the history of slavery, the diversity of the population and racism are not taught in schools or discussed openly. This silence perpetuates ignorance and prevents progress in addressing discrimination. Number six, Cuba. Cuba offers you the feelings of its leaders like Fidel Castro and Che Guevara, Cuban cigars and the most beautiful Caribbean beaches with crystal clear waters and fine sand. Its rich cuisine, diverse cultures, and world-class entertainment have earned it a place on many travelers' lists. However, beneath this charming surface lies a complex and concerning issue, racism. Cuba's reputation as a heavily policed nation has drawn attention, and not for the right reasons. Citizens, regardless of their ethnicity, can find themselves subjected to random detentions on the streets. This unsettling practice is even more evident for black Cubans, particularly when they are seen in the company of white foreigners. If a black man is found walking with a white woman, he will be stopped, searched, and asked questions. The white woman would be asked whether she was going with the black man with her own consent or whether she was being forced. The Cuban government seems to possess an almost obsessive desire to ensure the safety of white tourists, which can lead to uncomfortable and disheartening encounters for those affected. Even black Americans, who might have assumed a level of shared identity in Cuba, can find themselves mistakenly targeted by the police. The late Mark Sawyer, an African-American Cuban scholar, recounted his frequent stops by the police with his mere possession of a passport redirecting suspicions toward his intent. Such experiences shed light on the pervasive nature of this issue. Number five, Switzerland. Switzerland needs no introduction as it's on the bucket list of every tourist. It's due to its rich natural life, great weather, stunning mountain views and delicious dishes. It's a top spot for tourists and vacations, and everything seems perfect when there are no black people. But there's a problem if you are black. A recent report shared with the UN. The Human Rights Council has shown that Switzerland has issues with racism against black people. 
This report sheds light on discrimination, which includes police actions against black people, from regular checks and searches to temporary detentions. One big problem is when police pick on people because of their skin color. Black residents often get checked by the police more, searched a lot, and asked for their IDs. Sometimes this ends in tragedies. When black people are arrested without being shown any evidence, this creates resistance, leading to killings. Racism isn't just about the police. It's also in housing and jobs. People with names that sound foreign, like not typically Swiss, have a hard time finding apartments. And if your name sounds Balkan or African, it's even harder to find a job. This is a big problem, and it happens a lot. Number four, Mexico. Mexico is famous for its rich culinary traditions like tacos and chilaquiles, beautiful beaches, islands, ancient temples and ruins, and much more. However, with all this, racism goes hand in hand. It's a harsh reality that often hides behind the country's vibrant landscapes and rich cultures, but it cannot be ignored. Mexico, a land of stark contrasts, holds a shadowy side of racism that casts a long and troubling shadow on its bustling streets and festive celebrations. Racism manifests in a disturbing pattern that touches every aspect of life, most notably in the media and advertising. Billboards flash images that subtly, or sometimes not so subtly, intertwine racism and classism into the very fabric of society. Whether it's beer and car commercials, department store promotions, or supermarket ads, the prevalence of white faces in these campaigns acts as a haunting shade. It encourages Mexicans that their goal in life is to achieve whiteness. This constant bombardment of advertising isn't just an occasional occurrence. It's a glaring reminder of the deep-rooted divisions that afflict the country. However, the problem doesn't end with advertisements. An unsettling reality came to light a few months ago when employees of an upscale Mexico City steakhouse revealed a disturbing policy. The best tables were reserved for customers with lighter skin. The notion that fair-skinned customers were receiving preferential treatment wasn't entirely surprising in a country where historically darker complexions correlated with lower incomes, reduced access to education, and limited media representation. In Mexico, if a black family lives around a town with fair-skinned people, they will be given humiliating names like Negrito or Little Black One. Number three, Colombia. From coffee, emeralds, exotic fruits, beautiful beaches, festivals, architecture, and wildlife, Colombia has an identity of its own. However, under this outer surface lies the grim reality of racism, which makes all of these attractive features worthless. Colombia finds itself among the top 10 countries grappling with deep-seated racism, with its Afro-Colombian and indigenous communities bearing the brunt of this burden. As you explore the lively streets of Bogota or immerse yourself in the natural wonders of Chaco's Pacific Department, Colombia's racial history becomes glaringly apparent. The statistics tell a compelling story. Colombia boasts the second largest Afro-descendant population in Latin America, yet their presence remained largely unnoticed until the 1990s. Even with the introduction of multiculturalism laws in the 1990s, the journey towards achieving social equality has been an uphill battle. Before these legal reforms, Afro-Colombians often experienced an alarming invisibility, overlooked by both the government and academic institutions. Education, a fundamental right, highlights Colombia's racial divide. When torrential rains and mining-induced river shallowness hit Chaco's rural communities, schools suffered greatly. The Colombian state's indifference resulted in months of lost education for black and indigenous children. Meanwhile, privileged white students in Bogota continued their education without interruption. This stark inequality lays bare the grim reality of a racist system. Colombia's racial disparities extend far beyond education permeating political chambers, healthcare facilities, agricultural sectors, and trade institutions. Indigenous and Afro-Colombian communities find themselves marginalized, often represented symbolically rather than substantively. Despite the global Black Lives Matter movement's resonance, Colombia remains hesitant to confront its history of discrimination and systemic bias. Number two, France. France, welcoming nearly 90 million visitors each year, proudly claims the title of the world's most popular tourist destination. It's because of its historic sites like the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre Museum, or strolls through the charming streets of Paris. Simply being in France and Paris is a dream of many. However, beneath France's rich history and culture, it holds a dark shadow of racism, a reality that should not be overlooked. While not always immediately evident to outsiders, a troubling undercurrent tarnishes the experiences of many. 
Despite efforts to combat racism and celebrate milestones, recent observations reveal that this issue has not entirely vanished. The COVID-19 pandemic unintentionally provided fertile ground for harmful anti-Semitic conspiracy theories to flourish. Additionally, political campaigns have reignited discussions about migration and security. Racist and xenophobic sentiments in French society are not uncommon. Notably, racism often lingers beneath the surface, concealed behind polite facades. This subtle racism manifests itself in everyday scenarios where black individuals are often given roles such as back office staff or cleaning personnel. This reality becomes hard to ignore when one witnesses the glaring disparities in occupations and opportunities. In 2022, France commemorated the 50th anniversary of the enactment of the Law of July 1, 1972, which penalizes racist insults, defamation, incitement to discrimination, hatred, or racial violence. It also celebrated the 51st anniversary of the ratification of the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. However, despite all this, France struggles with racism to this day. Its history of colonialism and the ongoing exploitation of Africa has changed the fabric of society. This will take perhaps centuries as this racist social fabric also is a result of centuries of colonization. Number one. USA. Well, the United States of America should not surprise you if it's on this list. When you set foot in the United States, often lauded as the land of opportunity and freedom, you might be confronted with a sobering truth that many would rather ignore. America's struggles with racism are deep-rooted, pervasive, and undeniable. It's an uncomfortable reality that has come to the forefront time and time again, painting a picture of a nation grappling with its own ideals. The tragic death of African Americans in 2020 at the hands of a police officer in Minneapolis sent shockwaves around the globe. This heart-wrenching incident not only exposed the deeply ingrained racism within American institutions, but also triggered a larger conversation about the realities faced by Black immigrants in the country. Not only immigrants, but Black people whose ancestors have been living in the U.S. for centuries also face racism. While the majority of Black Americans are descendants of those forcibly brought to the U.S. as slaves, a substantial portion, nearly 5 million people, are Black immigrants who arrived in pursuit of the American dream. However, the promise of a better life often meets the harsh reality of systemic racism. Pew Research reported that about 63% of people in the U.S. say that it has become more common to express racism in the U.S. than before. The report also said that 76% of Black and Asian individuals along with 58% of Hispanics, report experiencing discrimination or unfair treatment due to their race or ethnicity. When it comes to the bigger problem for Black people, about 52% of Black adults point to racism in U.S. laws, while 43% highlight racism by individuals. The National Urban League's annual report on the state of Black America also revealed that Black people receive only 73.9% of the economic benefits that white people enjoy. Despite making some progress in economic and health areas, black individuals have fallen further behind white individuals in education, social justice, and civic engagement since this index was introduced in 2005. Well, the U.S. might be a land of opportunities, but only if you are white. Did you know that these countries are racist to this day? Do you think that due to their history, racism has become the very fabric of their nations? Let us know which of these countries you were not expecting to be on the list. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about. The black culture, civilization, history, and evidence about how glorious blacks have been. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.